So let's just talk real quick about the twin paradox. The concept of the twin paradox is you have two people who are the same age. Let's say they're twins. It could be two people in this class, they're the same age. And we take one of those people and we send them off in a spaceship. Send them off in a spaceship for a certain amount of time, close to the speed of light, and we bring them back. One of them is older than the other, just as we showed in the last example we did. Um, the person who's older is the person who's on Earth, and the person who's younger is the person we sent away at speed B and then brought back. And you say, but wait a second, there is a paradox here, because instead of making the Earth the stationary reference frame and the spaceship the moving reference frame, why don't I just do it the other way around and say, oh, well, let me erase those and say that, oh, let's make the Earth Let's make the spaceship the stationary reference frame, and the Earth is moving at speed v away from the spaceship. So then why wouldn't I, just because of a change of frame of reference, why wouldn't I then have the person on Earth be the one who's younger and the person on the spaceship is older? That's why it's a paradox, but it's an easily resolvable paradox. And the reason why it's an easily resolvable paradox is because of the way that it's, it's because of the way that we did the last example problem, right? In order to calculate how much older the person, in this case, it was, we called her Michaela, the the Michaela, how much old, how much younger Michaela was than Dagum, who stayed on Earth, we had to calculate how long it took Michaela to get out to a planet and then to come back again, and we just we were able to double it in order to figure out how much time it took her to come back again. Because if we, no, unless I'm not even going to get into those details. Okay, so, so here's the key, is that you might say, ah, but, but, they, but, but we talk about this thing called the, um, the proper time, and the proper time is the person who has a watch present at both events, and if both events are Michaela leaving Earth and Michaela arriving at Earth, you say, but Dagum also has a proper time because he's got a watch present when Michaela left Earth and when Michaela got back to Earth. Michaela has a watch that's present, that's present when she leaves Earth and gets back to Earth. So why wouldn't they both measure the same time? And the answer is in the turning around. In order for Michaela to turn around, she had to leave her inertial reference frame. So this was a tricky point. In order, so that's why we just talked about Michaela leaving as a separate trip from her coming back, and we just doubled it because we never took into account the fact that when she turned around, she had to leave her inertial reference frame. So really, there's three trips, uh, sorry, three times that we're interested in, three times that we're interested in. Not just when Michaela leaves Earth and arrives back at Earth, but it's when Michaela leaves Earth, when Michaela gets to the planet P or to the point P in space, when she then leaves the point P in space and gets back to Earth. I guess is that four times? Uh, if she gets to point P and leaves point P at the same time, maybe that's three times. So there's the time when she leaves the Earth, time one, time two when she gets to point P, times three when she leaves point P, and times four when she gets back to Earth. So Michaela has a watch present at all four of those events. Dagum only has a watch present at the first and the last event. He does not have a watch present at all four events. And the reason why that's important is because when Michaela went from the Earth to the visiting planet, to visit the planet, she was in one inertial reference frame. And when she went from the, uh, from the planet back to Earth, she was in a different inertial reference frame. So Dagum did not have a watch that was present at all of the events that occurred, which was the change in reference frame at point P. So Michaela is the only one who has a proper time because she is the only one who had the watch present at all events. And so the calculation we did was correct, and Michaela is younger than Dagum.